Mental health is not just a COVID-19 issue. It's been in our communities before the pandemic. Those that help the homeless see it all the time. The lack of shelters in the area and the knowledge about some resources hinders the process. Now, there's a group of people working to help a homeless lady with mental health issues, but they know there are so many more on the streets. WCBI's Stephen Pimpo has the story. Something traumatic happens and then it's a big spiral and everything gets out of control. That leaves them homeless. It's this vicious cycle that has caused so many in Columbus to have to battle both homelessness and mental health on a daily basis. It's a problem that Lieutenant Rhonda Sanders with the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office sees all too often. Them dealing with a, a traumatic experience, them not getting the help that they need, um, then they become depressed. They tend not to go to work and then they lose their job. Sanders says the problem is rooted in people not being able to get the proper help they need, whether through counseling or medication. For the past few weeks, Sanders has been working with the Community Benefit Committee to raise money to help longtime Columbus resident Miss Mildred, who is homeless and has a mental disability. The medication is an expensive medicine um, that she's taken, but it, it is working for her. And hopefully, uh, through more visits with the doctors and getting her stable in a good, stable environment. But Sanders and Janie Shields with the Community Benefit Committee say the scope of the issue demands a more permanent solution. I am Miss Mildred. I've been Miss Mildred. And there are so many other people in our community that um, that have been. Shields, Sanders, and the committee are working to put together a database of programs that can be a resource for people struggling with homelessness and mental health and let them know it's okay to ask for help. I didn't know that I could ask, you know. I didn't know, um, I think even with Ms. Mildred, I don't really know if she realized that, you know, being homeless was even an issue for her. The list includes programs with the Mississippi Regional Housing Authority, the Social Security Administration, and the Homeless Coalition. I wish I had known about these programs even, you know, um, when I was going through. So we hope that we're able to kind of streamline it all and put it in some type of uh, format to share with the community. The Community Benefit Committee has raised over $5,000 for Ms. Mildred and plan another fundraiser on Sunday.